Hello everyone. So uh, in this video, let us see uh, what is the equality of a complex number when we call two complex numbers as equal. So let's see the meaning of this and also uh, the numerical based on this. Okay. So we have defined a complex number. So z is equal to a plus b i z is equal to a plus b i is a uh, complex number. So, what is the definition of complex number? So, we have defined it earlier. So, it is sum of real part and imaginary part. So, this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. Okay. So, we can take any example. I have given few examples in the previous video also. So, 2 minus 3 i, this is a complex number. Similarly, minus 5 minus 4 i, this is also a complex number. And uh, 2, this is a complex number. Why this is a complex number? Because uh, this has real part and also this can be represented like this, 2 plus i 0 where imaginary part is 0. So, this also is a complex number and also we said real numbers are subset of complex numbers. So, all the real numbers are subsets of complex number. So, we can define a real number as complex number. Okay. Yeah. So, this is also a complex number. Similarly, I can take a pure imaginary number which is a complex number similar to this. Okay. Yeah, now let us see the equality of complex numbers, okay. So, equality of complex numbers, equality of complex numbers. Um, let me take let z1 is equal to 1 complex number which is given by a plus ib. And let me take one more complex number z2 which is given by c plus id. So, now these two complex numbers can be equal that is z1 and z2 are equal only if only if a is equal to c and b is equal to d. What is the meaning of this? Now, A is the real part of the first complex number, C is the real part of the second complex number. So, we can see the Z1 and Z2 that is first complex number and second complex number are equal only if the real parts of these complex numbers are equal and also here B is the imaginary part, D is the imaginary part. So, we can say the real parts are equal and also the imaginary parts are equal. So, if both these conditions are satisfied, then we can say both the numbers that is complex numbers are equal. So, let me take few example. If Z1 is equal to 2x plus 3, oh, sorry, Z1 is equal to 2 plus i b i 3 ok. Similarly, z 2 is equal to minus 2 minus i 3 ok. These two complex numbers are not equal here z 1 is not equal to z 2. Why these are not equal? Because here a is 2, c is minus 2. So, a is not equal to c the real parts are not equal and also b is a 3, d is a minus 3. So, b is not equal to d. So, here z1 and z2 are not equal. If they are equal, z1 should be 2 plus i3. Similarly, z2 also should be 2 plus i3. Then only we can see those two are equal. Few more examples. Let me take z1 is equal to minus 2 plus i3, z2 is equal to minus 2 minus i3. Whether these are equal? No, these are not equal. Why these are not equal? a is equal to minus 2, c is equal to minus 2, a is equal to c. Real parts are equal 
real parts are equal, but what about imaginary parts? So, B is equal to 3, D is equal to minus 3, B is not equal to D. So, the imaginary parts are not equal. Initially only I said, so both real and imaginary parts must be equal so that two numbers or two complex numbers are equal. Okay? So, uh, remember, so in order to say two complex numbers are equal, both the real parts must be equal and also the imaginary parts of the complex numbers must be equal. So, let us see few examples based on this. Now, first one is, so the question is, if 4x plus i into 3x minus y is equal to 3 plus i into minus 6, where x and y are real numbers, then find the values of x and y. Now, what we have to do? we have to calculate the x and y values in this particular equation. Okay. Now, what is given? They have given a complex number where on both sides of the equality signs, we have two complex numbers. Now, here it is 4x plus i into 3x minus y. This is a complex number. Why? Because it involves an imaginary number. So, we can say this is a complex number and also they say the x and y is are real numbers. Okay. And here on this side also it is a complex number. And they have given it as equal. So, both are equal. So, we can say the LHS side and RHS side of the equation are equal, which is nothing but saying that the two complex numbers are equal. So, let us uh, now compare the real and imaginary parts of the complex numbers to get the unknown values. Why we can compare, uh, how we can compare? Because it is said that the two complex numbers are equal and the two complex numbers can be equal only if the real parts are equal and the imaginary parts are equal. So, comparing, now I can write comparing real parts, real parts. So, what is the real part here? So, this is a real part. Why this is a real part? Because here this is an imaginary part which involves i in it. So, I can see 4x is the real part on this side, LHS side. And what is the real part on the other side of the equation? It is 3. So, 3 is the real part on the other side of the equation. So, I can write x is equal to 3 by 4. So, x value we have found out. Okay. Now, let us find out the y value. For that, one more option what we have is comparing the imaginary part. So, let us compare the imaginary part. So, comparing imaginary part. Comparing imaginary parts. So, here the imaginary part is this. Okay. So, along with the i, whatever term is there, that becomes the imaginary part. So, 3x minus y is the imaginary part on LHS side. RHS side, the imaginary part is minus 6. So, let me write it as minus 6. Okay. Now, here x value is known to us. So, let me substitute x value. So, 3 into x is 3 by 4 minus y is equal to minus 6. So, this is uh, 9 by 4 minus y is equal to minus 6. So, let me shift y value to the other side. So, what we have is when it goes to the other side, this becomes 9 by 4 and I am taking minus 6 to LHS side. So, it is plus 6 now and when this goes to other side, this becomes plus y. So, now y is equal to 9 by 4 plus 6 which is equal to 4 LCM 9 plus 24 which is nothing but 33 by 4. So, y value is 33 by 4. So, we have found out x value and y value by using the condition of equality of complex numbers. Okay? So, x is equal to 3 by 4, y is equal to 33 by 4. 
So, if you use these values here in the equation, you will get same as the equation in the RHS side. So, this is how we proceed with the numerical. One more numerical let us see. So, this is one more numerical based on equality of uh, complex numbers. So, what does this say? So, find the real values of x and y such that this is a condition given. So, we have to find out the real values of x and y. Okay. Since this is a complex number on LHS side, this is a complex number on RHS side and they say both are equal. So, what we have to do? We have to just compare real part and imaginary part. So, let me write comparing real parts real part. So, what is real part on the LHS side? So, the real part is x plus 2y. So, x plus 2y is the real part on LHS side which is equal to the real part on RHS side. What is that? So, it is 5. 5. So, we cannot solve this because we have two unknowns here. So, let it be. So, let me take this as equation 1. Now, we have imaginary part here. So, comparing imaginary parts so, comparing imaginary parts. So, imaginary part here is 2x minus 3y. Imaginary part on the other side is minus 4. Okay. So, let this be equation 2. Now, we have to solve the first equation and second equation. So, then we will be getting the values of x and y. So, how to solve? So, these are linear equations. So, let us solve these. So, let me write it again. So, x plus ah, before that. So, let me use the method of um, making the coefficient of the variable one of the variable equal then by cancelling out the terms then by solving for the unknowns. Okay. So, let me uh, make the coefficients of first variable which is x here as equal. So, here it is 2. So, let me make this also 2. How to make? So, let me multiply equation 1 by 2 into 2. So, what you will be getting? So, 2x plus 4y is equal to 5 into 2 is 10. So, let this be equation 3. Okay. Now, let us subtract equation 2 minus equation 3. Okay. So, let us do this. So, what you will be getting? So, equation 2 is 2x minus 3y is equal to minus 4 equation 3 is 2x plus 4y is equal to 10. Since we are subtracting, I have to change the sign of the second equation. So, this becomes negative. So, this becomes a negative. Okay. So, this gets cancelled out since this is positive 2x, this is negative 2x. Here, this becomes minus 7y and this becomes minus 14. So, y is equal to minus 14 by minus 7 which is equal to 2. Now, we have found out the value of y. How to get the value of x? Substitute value of y in any of the equation, any one equation. So, substituting, substitute y is equal to 2 in equation 1, in equation 1. So, what you are getting? x plus 2 y value is 2 is equal to 5. So, x is equal to 5 minus 4 which is nothing but 1. So, x value is 1 y value is 2. So, this is the solution for this particular example where it was asked to calculate x and y value uh, of the given equation where we have a two complex numbers, the condition which was given as two complex numbers are equal. So, I hope this is clear. So, let us meet with uh, the next topic in the next video. So, till then, bye, take care. If do not forget to subscribe to my channel, share the videos, comment. Okay. So, thank you.